I'm Mark Stewart Greenstein, candidate for Governor of Connecticut. I want to speak about my favorite topic, commerce. Talk about Connecticut near the end. I so revere Americans getting better and America itself getting better by more and more commerce. When we as individuals and we as firms are interacting with the suppliers and buyers and sellers, we get better. So there's been a call for a boycott of conservative hosts who are espousing their point of view. Laura Ingram is the latest casualty. Ladies and gentlemen, I would not buy into this boycott, even if you side with those calling for the boycott because they're using a weapon that you wouldn't want them to use against you. If one day somebody didn't like the type of flavoring in your daughter's lemonade stand, you wouldn't want a boycott of her little project in commerce that might raise money for the school. This is what you're getting into when you boycott. I, on the other hand, would like to reward those who do more commerce. So I am going out of my way next week to buy Hershey, in part because Nestle is a boycotter of what is one of my favorite talk show hosts, radio even more so than television. Laura Ingram, I've said this for seven years. She got a little more Trumpy than I liked last year, but she is the best radio host, period. She's better than Rush. She has been better than my favorite other um, talk show hosts for her irreverence at times, her humor, her insight, and her passion. Listen when she's back on the air. Please listen to anyone who is giving clear, well-thought points of view. I say well-thought to counter the reactionary and not well-thought points of view that inhabit a lot of progressive talk. It's not well thought out, it's felt. Reasoned thought by individual Americans is why talk radio has thrived and has moved decently into television as well. I wish there would be more television talk that was opinionated. That means the smaller networks, the Foxes, the MSNBCs, even the CNBCs, I happen to not like their point of view, but at least they get into it. When did Matt Lauer ever do anything controversial on NBC's Today Show? Okay, It's deliberately mild, and I think we need politically robust. Now, how can an individual be politically robust? We're not going to have talk shows, okay? The best we might do is get in a 60-second a, a call to a radio station. I do believe in that. But let me give you the politically powerful yet quiet way. It's called voting with your feet. And those who would like to reward businesses who are doing good should buy more of their stuff. I have walked away from businesses that are not doing good. I have not bought a Disney product since it was revealed to me that Disney made its American workers pretty much dig their own graves to let immigrant workers replace them. That's evil. And even though I love ESPN, it's owned by Disney, I haven't watched more than five minutes of a of ESPN since that time. That's tough because I used to love the football highlights that Chris Berman does. So I have other outlets now instead. Everyone can vote with their feet on consumer issues. Thank goodness there are no real monopolies. You don't like what even a big business is doing, go elsewhere. And let me turn it to Connecticut. I'd like us to be voting with our feet with the biggest expense that Connecticut has, schools. People who will choose 
where their child will go to school based on not geography, but based on their choice of having good teachers, good administrators, good facilities perhaps. I think facilities are the least important element of schooling. This is where people can go and the money will follow. This is what elevates schools. This is what propels not so good schools to get better. This is also where I expect Connecticut becomes a leader in bringing in new people. People are saying throughout this campaign, how are you going to stop losing people in Connecticut? Yes, we've lost population. With choice in school that's statewide, you're going to see a lot of families that care about their kids' education flock here. We can do this almost instantaneously. We are not bound by law. The Constitution says public education is a requirement. That means publicly funded. I will publicly fund to the same level as it's funded now. But it will be bottom up instead of top down. Top down is administrators and superintendents and sometimes school boards smashing down the will of people and totally eviscerating their choices. Bottom up says individuals have the choice. It's rewarded in a voucher to use your money where you want and effect change by having a dollar that will migrate or in the case of Connecticut, $15,000, which is the approximate cost per child of schooling for one year. With a $15,000 voucher per child, a family has a lot more power and will get a lot better from their education. Connecticut will get a lot better families coming here when we become the first state in the Northeast to open up true choice in schools. I'm looking to lead that charge. I'm Mark Stewart. Thank you for listening.